So to monetize your content, you now need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. If only there was an easy, free way to monitor this at all times. Hello everyone, welcome back to vidIQ and my name is Rob. If this is your first time here, we are the YouTube tool and channel that aims to help you get more views in less time. Our tool is of course free to download, a link is in the description and while you're at it, subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our content. Today's topic once again is all about the changes to the YouTube Partner Program, the way you monetize your content. If you don't know what those changes are, you may need to watch this. If you want to know what the general reaction to all this is, you may need to watch this. If you want to know what tools you potentially lose if you're no longer monetized, you may need to watch this. And if you want some tips on how to get to 1000 subscribers, you may want to watch this. That's a lot of video cards all in the same place, so check out those links in the video description below. Once you've digested all that information, you need to get back to work. Unless, of course, you're going to quit YouTube, in which case, watch this. All right, so now you're back at the YouTube hustle, working hard, passionately at something you truly believe in. You're gaining subscribers, you're gaining that watch time, but it's not very easy to access that information. You've got to go to the analytics, change a few settings, and finally, you'll get the watch time minutes, but you need to know the hours. So how could we help you put a metric on screen wherever you are on YouTube so you know exactly where you are? With the vidIQ Chrome extension installed, you will see at the top of every single YouTube page this set of metrics. We call it the real-time stats bar, up-to-date information saving you the hassle of having to go to YouTube's dedicated analytics pages. Up to now, it's included information such as real-time views over the last 60 minutes, views over the last 48 hours, total subscribers, and more as you can see. But with these new developments from YouTube, we've decided to add a new metric, and it looks like this. This new metric tracks your watch time hours over the last 12 months. As part of YouTube's new partner program requirements, you need 1,000 subscribers, a metric we already have, but this new one, requiring 4,000 hours of watch time, is shown in amber. As you may or may not know, when you mouse over these statistics, you get a more thorough breakdown. Our new partner program watch time hours metric sits at the top of this list, and as you can see, we've got a nice little progress bar to show you how close you are to potentially monetizing your YouTube content. So, what happens when you surpass 4,000 hours of watch time over 12 months? Another drum roll, please. Yes, indeedy, that analytic will turn green to indicate that you have surpassed YouTube's requirements and you'll reach 100% on our progress bar. Now, of course, we appreciate that not every single YouTube user needs to see this metric. Once you're a larger channel that well surpasses 4,000 hours of watch time, you probably don't need to see this. So once you hit 5,000 hours of watch time, this metric will automatically disappear from the real-time stats bar. If you fall below that level again, it will reappear automatically. However, for smaller YouTubers looking to hit that target, we think this is an essential, valuable tool. But of course, because you can't monetize your content just yet, we're making this one absolutely free. As with all vidIQ tools, we'd love to hear your feedback on this brand new tool. Let us know in the comments below. And of course, as always, enjoy the rest of your video making day. Good luck hitting YouTube's new requirements. Bye for now.